a stellar forward line of course for Argentina led by Lionel Messi but Uruguay themselves arguably with one of their most potent ever front lines worked it nicely Higuain laid it off to the magician who wears the captain's armband Messi in the art of time press all the build up centering on Uruguay's recent demolition well won by Fernandez and that was Caceres looking quite sprightly the referee was right to make him get on with it Messi got on with it Taking two or three deflections on the way, touch on it. Mislera left it to his Gargo. Messi. Di Maria wanted it left and got it. Early cross. Must be considered to be Paraguay. And their morale further for Argentina. Eventually asserted their class to win 3-1. Messi, of course, with a classic Messi goal, which really turned the game. But there's so much more impressive coming forward, Argentina, than when they're defending. That's Di Maria overran it. Reach Forlan. Messi. Little ole from the crowd here at Mendoza. Messi just drops it off to Gago, Higuain gives it back to the maestro and the captain. Sent half of Uruguay one way, goes the other. Possibilities here for Argentina. Muslera with a really clean pair of hands, beautifully done by the goalkeeper. Di Maria again looking to unleash shots from distance, as he did against Paraguay. Well, I think he sent a few of the crowd out the gate with that dummy, Messi. Higuain beautifully worked by Argentina fantastic little touch by Messi well done also by Higuain to give it to Aguero Always. And they do generally keep the ball on the move here's Messi offside Higuain just about Higuain but I think Aguero got turned Messi just a shade too much on it was Lera theatrical route and again that's an example of the left back Zabaleta it's a fantastic touch by Aguero Messi oh only one man can do that kind of thing. What a goal it would have been. Absolutely out of this world. Oh, he thought he couldn't top the one he got against Paraguay, but that would have been even better against better defenders and even deeper position of starting. And more and more, Argentina is seeing what he does for Barcelona week in, week out. And I think the world may acknowledge that by the time the World Cup does come round. And that was the moment of sheer brilliance from the world's main superstar and Argentina's main man that almost opened the scoring tonight. He went again. Argentina do have many options. And who else but Messi to take? Hey, 
Lera reacted well. Outswinger this time, Uruguay, led by Suarez, defended well. Messi, couple of Olays for that one. Dago, little Olay for that too. Only cat calls for Catheres's clearance. Romero with a great throw, and Argentina. On the front foot with Di Maria. He kick in all honesty. What an intervention by Muslera. And probably the right decision this time. Gago. Messi gives it back to him. Barca. So it goes on. Well, the chance in the 45th minute. Can Argentina find a goal here for all their beautiful play in the first half? Madero's coming, but not coming quickly enough. The only disappointment for Argentina here is that. Messi wasn't quite arriving quickly enough either. It is their corner. Again, Luis Suarez with a great defensive header. Messi so close, Aguero close more than once. Uruguay not offering an awful lot in the attacking sense so far tonight, but looking as resolute as ever. And I think we can say for sure we are in for something not to be missed in the second 45. At the break, in Mendoza, Argentina nil, Uruguay nil. B. Messi to take. Over the top it goes, and... A bit of a let-off for Uruguay, you'd have to say that. As Ganai closed down on it, one or two of the Argentine players lost their markers here. Not sure Garay was really expecting it to come as far as him. First Olays of the second half for Messi. Nicely worked by Aguero. Rojo. Di Maria. Moved on quickly by... Here was the reason for the Olays, the triple salco, turn and twist by the magician. The crowd urged Gago to move it on. <laughs> Few can do it quite as elegantly as that. It reaches Messi. That's perfect from him. Aguero, possibilities here for Argentina. Higuain battling for it. Here he comes. Worked so hard to make the space after it broke down off Messi. Tracks away to the back post here. And he's brilliantly seen by Aguero. Can do no more than shuffle it round the post. Fantastic from Aguero. And equally well defended by Gargano on Messi. Messi, back to Aguero, and Muslera gets down so well. Messi, seven or eight white shirts to beat, he's got past one, and sure enough another comes to close him down quickly. They have lived dangerously in that respect tonight, Uruguay, and might yet get caught out in this game. Fast raids that he seemed to perfect in the early stages of the game tonight gave Uruguay all kinds of problems. If anything, they're going a bit more down the middle of the field, 
and being snuffed out in the main. Now he has a bit of room, but he goes inside again to Messi. And it breaks down again. Absolutely done by Pereira. Fell nicely for Messi. Di Maria. Argentina though in front. Uruguay's arms go in the air looking for an offside flag. This time it will not come. Well, they changed their centre backs. And while they were regrouping Uruguay, there was a big hole in the centre of their defence. And if ever there was a man to find a little weakness, it would be the maestro and captain of Argentina. Cleverly weighted, and that touch there steered it past Muslera. Di Maria with the setup. And perhaps the question will be asked of Uruguay was it all down to the loss of Lugano moments before? Argentina don't care about that. And will feel they deserve overall tonight to be in front. Now it's Rojo who appears to have a problem. And Argentina's turn to make a change. Campagnaro, I believe, will be coming on. Another game, of course, looming on Tuesday night for both Uruguay and Argentina. Uruguay have now appeared to have lost Lugano, and from the look of that, Rojo will be taking little part when Argentina move on to meet Chile. Campagnaro. The more seasoned player, certainly, at the age of 32. Napoli stalwart. Amazingly, it's only ever his third appearance in the national side here tonight. A long road for him to make it. To Christian Rodriguez is on for Uruguay. Messi, options both ways here for Argentina. Higuain going around the outside. to say it is within messy range goes right instead there have been one or two stoppages in play second half again it's a bit careless by Suarez who's now tracking back to try to amend for his error Messi, brilliantly done, Di Maria, oh, it's a picture but goal, Aguero surely wins it for Argentina, talk about a cutting edge, that is different class, Suarez gave it away and within a trice it is in his own net.
All he had to do was show up on the spot. No better man. One of the best in the world to finish it off. All the work was done in front of him. What a run and what a ball. Di Maria did the hard work. Messi had the cutting edge here, of course. And all Aguero's got to do is walk it home. Quality players at their best. And even Uruguay couldn't stop them. It's all gone horribly wrong here for Uruguay in the space of about 10 second half minutes. They lost Diego Lugano and they lost their way. And from nil-nil and being right in it, they're now two down and the crowd are all over them just like the men in the blue and white shirts. And they must feel a long, long way from home right now. Their inspirational front men have just not been seen enough of tonight. Here goes Christian Rodriguez trying to make something happen. The other, and this most certainly is in danger territory. 3 0. It's all over now. To think he was struggling to really impose himself for his country the way he's done for his club. With every game, Messi looks more and more complete as a, who knows, maybe even a man to rival the greatest of the greats, Maradona, in the 10 jersey of Argentina. Because he has taken this game and just ripped up the script here in the second half. Captain, talisman, number 10, goal scoring, two more tonight and that is genius yet again under the wall would you believe it what a joy this man is to watch and it doesn't matter what country you support it's all over by the shouting here in Mendoza and there'll be lots of that all around the town tonight. Well, we did say it's a much vaunted defence going back over the last five or six years for Uruguay but they've been conceding a lot of goals in this qualifying tournament. Conceded four against Colombia not long back. Three and counting here tonight. And while Uruguay's main marksman has had a night to forget, the main men at the other end have been putting the ball in the net. Aguero and Messi. And this is just ridiculously brilliant. Simply in a class of his own. It's becoming a famous win for Argentina against their most historic rival. And they're not finished yet. Might be four. Musleri denies a hat-trick for Messi. Great opportunity for him here. Offside second touch was to put the ball in the net against Uruguay now that would be a story to tell but it won't count playing for consolation now only Uruguay well we all saw the coming together Pereira for Uruguay the referee's getting a little bit of help here as to whether Messi was actually inciting Pereira or whether Pereira went out of his way to stop Messi 
Well, he's made his decision and it's all been blamed on the right back. The right back doesn't see it like that, even against a man of the greatness of Messi. He rather feels Messi ran into him first. From that angle, Pereira was looking for him. And that may be the kind of angle that the assistant on that far side actually saw. And we know what happened the last time they had a free kick. Uruguay three down, they've had four men booked. Messi deflected and just the wrong side of the post. Would have been his hat-trick. Stoppage time. The Argentina supporters do not want the night to end. Suarez takes it off Messi. Agro between the Argentine captain and Ferreira continues. A little bit of edge to be carried forward to the next meeting, which of course comes in the last group game, another year from now. Right now, some in Uruguay will surely be... And Argentina go back top of South American qualifying. They have put their oldest rivals firmly in their place here. To Bien, nos pide que van a saludar a la gente, Mariano. Vamos a esperar. Ahí van a levantar los brazos. El abrazo de Masterano y Messi. Y ahí está, el saludo para toda la gente y el aplauso que viene de la tribuna. Lío, te decía, ¿se picó mucho el partido al final? ¿Cómo? ¿Se picó mucho al final el partido? No, no mal, nosotros tuvimos la pelota cuando nos pusimos 3 a 0, eh, y es difícil cuando no la puede agarrar, y es normal, lo importante es que ganamos, que hicimos un grandísimo partido, que fuimos superiores en todo momento y merecimos los tres puntos. Gran doblete otra vez con la camiseta de la selección y esa ovación de toda la gente gritando por vos. Feliz una vez más ahora acá en, en Mendoza, eh, la gente... La Argentina estaba feliz con esta selección que, que viene haciendo las cosas bien, hoy era importante ganar porque salíamos ahora contra Chile que es una salida muy complicada como son todas las eliminatorias, Uruguay que, que viene haciendo las cosas muy bien, que es el último campeón de la Copa América y lo ganamos con mucha diferencia. ¿Había que hacer el gol, Dio, para abrirlo al partido? Sí, porque ellos no querían no quería más que defender, estaban parados atrás, buscar una contra con los tres delanteros que son muy rápidos, muy buenos, lo controlamos en todo momento los atrás y... Y bueno, se vio que una vez que hicimos el gol encontramos mal espacio. Y el tiro libre, explícame por qué ahora te has convertido en ese especialista. Explica un poco, porque todos la esperaban por arriba, se la tiraste por abajo. No, no sé, vi que, que estaba parado ya para salir el arquero. Eh, sabe que, que me gusta tirar por arriba y bueno, eh, la, la, sabía que la barrera iba, iba a saltar y por suerte entró y pude convertir. Tío, ¿te acordás que te pedían que en la selección tenía que jugar como en Barcelona? Ahora estás feliz, estás jugando en la selección como en Barcelona. Siempre estuve feliz en la selección, obviamente cuando se dan los resultados uno está más, está más contento, trabaja con, con más tranquilidad, pero no me pasa a mí nomás, sino que a todo, a todo el que viene a la selección. Eh, cuando se gana es más fácil trabajar, cuando la gente está, está contenta con lo que hace el equipo es todo mucho más fácil. Y bueno, contento porque el grupo cada vez está más fuerte, estamos ganando y de a poquito vamos consiguiendo el objetivo. Imagina esta respuesta dentro de 10 años cuando la vea tu hijo. Le vas a pasar el video. ¿Qué le podría decir? No, no sé, falta mucho para, para eso. Ahora disfrutar de, de este momento, empezar a preparar lo que, es, lo que es Chile, que va a ser muy difícil por, por el equipo que tiene, por, por cómo viene el último partido, porque necesitan ganar ellos, así que va a ser muy complicado. Tío, última, eh, dijo Mascherano ayer, ganando los dos partidos, este de Uruguay y el de Chile, podemos decir que casi estamos en el Mundial. ¿Vos sí. pensás lo mismo? Sería dar un paso muy importante, ¿no? Por cómo estamos todos ahí, ahí tan cerquita. Eh, hoy le sacamos una buena ventaja eh, a Uruguay también y, y si gana lo termina de, de confirmar esa ventaja y sería dar un paso muy importante de esta eliminatoria que cada vez son más igualados. Gracias.